Chirps. Come on, Grandma. Where are you going? Hey, who are you calling Grandma? I'm calling you, Grandma Tennyson. Last one to the campsite has to make dinner. Okay, I want pancakes. Ben, pancakes for dinner, Billy? Who says you can't have cake for breakfast? Well, I don't know, but really, pancakes for dinner? Well, Kevin, you can concede my speed. Sure. Ah, Tennyson, you got to be a perfect little driver, haven't you? But you know, I always was the better drive. Psh, ver. <laughs> Psh. Psh. What? Kevin! Forearms! Kevin, you okay? Shh. Huh? Shh. Never better. Good. Okay. Alright. Now, guys, I got a question. What is it, Benny boy? What is that? Hmm, I, I don't know. I mean, it looks like state-of-the-art plumber's badges. Psh. Hello, children. Gra Grandpa Max? Grandpa Max! Oh my god, I'm so excited to see you! Wah! Oh, okay, I guess you're a hologram. Yep, Ben, I think he's a hologram produced by the um, plumber's badge. So... What's he doing? I don't know. Maybe he's giving us a message. Hello, children. Yes, I'm your grandfather. I have been secretly went on a mission. I cannot tell you it is top secret, but I do can tell you this. About a year ago, a ship crash landed in Bellwood, and it held two celestial beings. Celestial beings? Like celestial sapiens? No, Ben. He means like, um... I don't know, sentient life or something like that. They were two unknown aliens from a galaxy far beyond ours. So far, all we have is images. These are the images. They are both like amphibian creatures. This one is like a turtle, while the other is more like a scarab. We do not know in that much info of them, but all we know is that they may be trouble. Their ship coordinates have been sent to your plumber's badges right now. Bleep. Oh, cool. They were. You will rendezvous with Alan and Ken at their base. Alan and Ken, I haven't seen them in, like, forever. Alright, this is your grandfather out. Stay safe, kids. Alright, how are we supposed to drive there? It says it's all the way in California. We're all the way in Bellwood. I mean, it's all the way on the other side of the continent. What are we supposed to do? I've got an idea. So, really, we're gonna drive there. Now, that's quite quick. Gwen, just sit back and hold your horses, because you're gonna be all in for a new surprise. Whoa, she can fly? <laughs> yes, she can. Kevin modded her yesterday. Ah, uh, I love you, baby. I love you too, Kevin. Oh, I was, um, talking about the car. I, I guess I kind of love you too. Kevin, I'm gonna kill you. I call shotgun. Really? What? You can sit in the trunk, Kevin. Well, let's go. Ben, did you notice that one of your wheels fell off? <laughs> I knew 
through that. Uh oh. When the wheel went off, one of the rockets went off too. We're gonna be crash landing. Bad, I hate you. Ha, huh, nice driving, Tennyson. See, I knew I should have been driving. Now I gotta fix her up all over again. Well, it's not my fault. Yeah, it's not your fault since you were the one driving. And since you were the one who lost your own will. And since you were the one eating a donut while you were driving. And since you were the one texting while you were driving. Shut up, Kevin, or I will totally go like some weird freakish alien that's new that I never tried out. That looks like a tiger. Hey, here's a not cool icon. Guys, what? Ben, I will seriously kill you. Gwen, what's going on, dear? Um, is there like, are you at that time of month? Kevin, I really don't like to talk like that around in public. What? We're not in public. Besides, anyway, what did you want to show us? We're here. OMG, we're actually here. Yes, we are. Freeze! What the? <gasps> Ken, it's you! Aw, uh, hey, Dad. What's up, guys? Oh, nothing. We were just waiting out here while you guys came. Well, we should go and see what's inside the ship. Yeah. Oh, um, guys, there's a lot of water around here. I think I'm just gonna go and look for the alien guy since they're not in the ship. Moments later. <coughs> what? What's that noise? It sounds like a little girl scream. That's, that's Alan's scream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, by Velvin, it looks like we have some guests. Oh yes, Galapagos. It seems we does, and it seems we have already met one of them. <gasps> Alan, it's payback time. No, Ken, it's hero time. Psh! New farm unlocked. Tetro man, Dino unlocked. Okay, now that sounds cool. It's hero time! Firehorns! Swamp fire! <laughs> cool alien, Ken. I know. This is my first time turning into him. Let's see what he can do. All energized stuff. Alright, amphibian alien. Let's go. All right, dinosaur alien, let's go. Leave it to me, Ken. And what are you gonna do? Feed me my vegetables? More like, let you get a taste of my vines. Ah, uh, help! He's got me! My Valvin! My Valvin! And now for you, Buck Boy. <laughs> well, why, you look a little dry. Have you been watered yet? <laughs> ah, refreshing. <laughs> you know, what's with you in that weird laugh? Alan, stick him. Already. On it. Why don't you have some water as well? I've heard Tetraman who dinos quite do dislike water. Rah! No, I'm getting sick and tired of you, Buck Boy. Why don't you pick on someone your own size, or at least stronger than you? Children's Swamp Fire! Hey, why don't you have some water? And chillax. Oh, you know what? You do look like you could use some vegetables. Hazarath Turbo! Uh, 
All right, Ben. It looks like these two are down for the count. Thanks, Gorn. Looks like there's two freshly wrapped up aliens ready to be shipped to the plumbers. All right, guys. Let's go. Wait, I almost forgot something. Omnitrix, scan this for me. I want you to scan these. Ben, why would you just call it the Omnitrix? It's the Ultimatrix. I knew that, Ken. <laughs> I knew that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, just scan them for me. <laughs> Alien life forms are equipped and added to playlist. Thank you for choosing the Omnitrix. See, Ken, it's the Omnitrix. Ultimatrix as well. Well, go boy. You know, why does it always do that British accent at the end? Well, let's just go. Plumbers will be here to end shortly. Uh, who, who's there? Is it the plumbers? Not exactly. No, no, please. Anything but this. Did you think you could escape me? Did you think you could escape? Agricola. And Bellwood Park. So, Ken, what have you and Alan been doing all this time for this entire year that we haven't seen you? I mean, like, are you fighting crime? Beating bad guys up? Traveling across the galaxy? More like traveling through the books. All we did was study, study, study. We got, like, one training up, but we did study, 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 and train and study. It got boring at times, but I don't know. I guess it was okay. Hey, you know there was half of a chapter about you? But Colossus said it was a chapter and a half. They floored it now. Ah, dumb plumbers. So, this is getting boring. <laughs> Ooh, Kevin, isn't that Denebula? No, it's a little more closer to Forgotti. No, I thought it was closer to, to Potos. No, it's closer to Forgotti. A lot of people think that Forgotti and Protos are the same planet because they pretty much look the same, except Forgotti, it has that little red dark storm thing. See, Ken, look what you left me with. I'm sorry. By the way, is this all you guys ever do? Sit and look at stars at Mr. Smoothie's? Well, sometimes we go to the park. Sometimes we go to Mr. Smoothie's. But most likely we always go to the park. Aren't we at the park? I thought we were at Mr. Smoothie's. I don't know. I'm just too busy looking at these beautiful stars. Psh. Ah! Guys, look, it's another one of those plumber's badges! Hello, children. I have previously told you and sent you another plumber's badge similar to this one, telling you of the danger of Bivalvin and Galapagos. Yes, I have learned their names. Anyway, I have told you I have been on a secret, top secret, top, top, top secret mission. So top, I can't even tell you. So top, there's a million tops in it. But yes, I have been in a top secret message. And I have been on a top secret mission. This is the top secret message. Anyway, I have been getting strange readings on the amount of aliens on Earth. I have now done some research and it seems that they all locate to one place. The coordinates have been sent to your plumber's badges. Bleep! And they have. I need you to check things out for me. Stay safe. Grandpa Max out. So I guess it's hero time. You darn right, Ken. Hey, this place is pretty close. Wait again. It's in California! Don't worry, I've added the rocket booster on my car too, so we won't have to share a car. Alright Ben, I'll take your car. Take it? Wait, you didn't do the rocket booster thing in my car? Come on, I'll tow it for you. Ah, uh, you suck. 
moments later. All right, we're here. Well, yes, that. But what are you doing here? What the? Oh, Colonel Wagner. Still taking care of the weird alien stuff? Yes, yes I am. I have seen one of your friends have just came along with you guys. What do you mean one of our friends? I mean him. Huh? Cooper? Yeah, I came here by Magister Tennyson's orders. Grandpa Max? Did you receive like a plumber's badge? Well, yeah. Hologram, it said something. But it, to it said something about his grandkids and telling them about some top secret message. I was surprised to get it, but I just came. Oh. Guys, um, I need to talk to you in private. Um, Wagner. Adios. Bye bye, amigo. Whatever. I got my eyes on you. What? What is it, Cooper? Do you see the ground we're standing on? Kevin, would you mind absorbing it for me? No problem. Oh my god. What? What is it, Kevin? It's Salad Car Sudanian. You don't find this on Earth. Yeah, you don't. It's, it's level 5. Earth is like 500 years from it. I don't know what it's doing here. It's usually used to hold prisoners. Well, if that's what Wagner's doing, let's find out. Wagner! What do you want? Are you holding aliens? Yes. Yes, I am. Wow, I thought that would have been longer to take it out of you, but okay. Look, okay, these are aliens that may pose threat to America. How many have you, do you have? I can't tell you. How long have you been holding this people? They're not people, they're aliens. In about four, maybe five decades. You've been holding people in there for 50 years? Psh, big chill. All right, guys, I'm gonna go check this out. What, what is it, Ben? There are hundreds of aliens down there, locked in there. Yes. Out of all the people you've been fighting, you don't see that these people are a threat to American and American kind. Don't you mean mankind? No, I mean American kind. I came up with it. Isn't it great? Look, you better release all of them. Every single last one of them. Every single last 774. That's wrong. It's not only right, it's justice. No, your count. It's 775. Well then, 775 is missing. Well, let me guess, Gooby Doo Gang. You got another mystery on your hands? Yes, yes we do. Psh! My, my ship! Psh! Well, there goes our prisoner. Come on, let's go track him. No, oh, my ship. My ship. My precious, precious ship. She's gone. I had crafted her. I love you, Gwen. What? I, I said I love my ship, whose name is Finn. Yes, I, I said that. Don't worry, Cooper. We'll get you a new ship, and we'll avenge it. Psst. Oh, Chuck. Um, Cooper, do you mind if I take a bite out of your ship? I don't care. It's already broken. Go ahead. Have a fiesta. Ken? What? I didn't eat breakfast. <clears throat> what do you expect me to do? Just starve? <laughs> hmm, this is very mysterious. Yes, yes it is. What the? That's not my shadow. Um, guys, is it possible that this prisoner may have the ability to cloak himself like Big Show, so that's how he got away and snuck into Cooper's ship? Yeah, that's possible. 
How, how do we track him now? We track him by using his scent. Psh, wild ma! What? He can't talk when he turns into that guy. <laughs> this your overgrown friend. He's no match for me. He's not a match for me at all. <laughs> well, maybe he's not, but I am. Four horns. Ah, dinosaur. It's lizard. Let's see how this turns out. Ah. <sighs> ah, I gotcha. Ugh. Thanks for fixing my ship, Ben. No problem. Nothing old Jerry Ray can't fix. Alright, little guy. Let's go. Pshhh. Look, I want to be there when he's prosecuted and when questions are asked. Why? So you can torture him? I don't think so. Look, Colonel Wagner. You have put Earth in violation of Code 49. I don't care about your alien mumbo-jumbo. All I care is for my family to have a safe place to live, and a safe night when they sleep. Colonel Rosa, if it wasn't for the fact that you're an American colonel, if it was up to me, you'd be the one in one of those prisons down there. Alright, one more thing before we go. I gotta scan this into my altimatrix. Hey, you already have enough aliens. I'm gonna scan it too. <laughs> Alright, so, one, two, three, scanning process going through. Alien life form has been scanned into Omnitrix. Ultimatrix playlist. Do we really have to be here on our birthday? Yes, Ken, we do. Grandpa Max is always there for us, so we should stay here for him. But it's not his birthday. Well, to keep it a tradition, He's always been there on our birthdays, so we might as well just keep this tradition alive and keep our memory of him forever and keep this tradition going on. So are we going to get into, like, the plumber's badge? Sure. Hello, kids, and happy birthday, Ken, Gwen, and Ben. Now, today, I have no mission for you. Yes! No mission. Ow! Come on and shut up. Like I said, I have no mission for you today, but I just wanted to say happy birthday and to keep you updated. I am still on the top secret mission that I cannot tell you. Alright, goodbye. So, no mission. So, what are we gonna do? I mean, it's not like us to have a normal life. Never really had one. Well, this is awkward. Well, uh, bamf. Hey! Ah! It's hero time! Wah! Bamf. What the? Bamf. Wah! Sorry, guys. Alright, lady. Who the heck are. <gasps> Auntie Gwen! Oh, yeah, I forgot. That was me. Remember that last time, Ben, when we fought? And you got the Omnitrix? Yeah. Wait a second. Let me guess. We're in the future. Yes, yes we are, Ben. So why have you brought us here? Well, I brought you here to celebrate your birthday. Sorry I didn't bring Kevin and Alan. Really, I was going for Ken, since your father wanted me to, but... I guess I only got on to all three of you. But hey, it is our birthday, so... Oh yeah, happy birthday. Yeah, thanks. Also, I brought you here because I need your help. What is it? I've sensed a great disturbance in the force. I don't know, that sounds like some Star Wars mumble jumble, but okay, we'll help. Alright, let's get to HQ. Or at least your HQ. And here we are. Sorry, ma'am, you can't get through this door. 
guys, it's me, Gwen. Oh, right this way, ma'am. And welcome to the party. Gwen, you brought them all? We're only supposed to bring ten. Well, they kind of got in the way, so I had to bring them all. Besides, it's all of their birthdays, so why don't we just bring them? Besides, with what I need, we could use all the help. Okay. Well, Alan, you see, the quantum physics aren't that... Grandpa Max? Hey, kiddos. Hey, Alan. Wait, how come you're older than me? Ken, it's physics, you see. You were a kid when you time traveled to here. In our time. And I was a kid, too. So, of course, I was going to be about approximately your same age. But, really, I am older than you. About ten years. Ten years? Phew. Yes. Truth is, I was 10 when you guys found me. So I'm about 20 now. And you were born exactly 10 years ago. Okay. Oh, happy 10th birthday. Happy 16th birthday, Gwen and Ben. Happy... I mean, thanks. Sorry, I'm thinking of your birthday. But your birthday's not until, like, 5 months. Alright, I'm gonna go check and see what chat tracks do me. Hey, kid! Good to see you all again. Yeah, we know, Grandpa Max. Hey, where were you at? Can you tell us, like, what top secret mission you were on? Oh, no. That'll break the time stream, and can't tell you. It's very top secret, and if you knew, you would. It would just destroy everything. Alright, guys, I'm gonna go cut some cake. Oh, Max. Yes, dear? Oh, I needed you to take me to the forum department. I see you have a special connection with Mr. Monk Dolly. Oh, yeah, we're friends. I can get you a great deal on that rook fruit you want. Thanks, dear. Okay, now let's get to the party. Hey, Gwen. Happy birthday, kids. Happy birthday. I mean... Why do I keep saying happy birthday? I just keep thinking of my birthdays as like being guided by myself. Gwen, <laughs> Gwen means thanks. I mean, I don't know why she keeps saying happy birthday. Oh, Kevin, where are you going? Oh, I gotta go teach this guy a lesson. Try not to hurt him that much. Okay. Oh, and by the way, happy birthday. <laughs> Aww. Happy birthday, Mom! Oh, thanks. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, everyone. Oh, happy birthday, older mm, mom, and happy birthday, younger mom. Um, thanks. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks. I mean, no, I didn't mean happy birthday. No, it's my birthday, too, and it is Devin's, too. Dad, where, where are you going, kids? Oh, Dad's taking us um, to the museum. Um, you guys stay safe. I hear you taking, teaching this guy some lesson. Alright, bye, Mom. And here we are at the real party. <gasps> Colossus, Beast, great to see you. Yes, it is great to see you again. Great to see that you're alive. I mean, I thought you would have died. Thanks a lot. It helps me very a lot. Yes, yes, we'll be down there in a second. Um, hey, Commander Cody and Captain Rex. Where are you guys going? Oh, we gotta get to the plumber's base. Where's Magister again? Oh, he cut the bucket a long time ago. Oh. Okay. Good to see you guys. Why is everyone leaving? I don't know. Besides, anyway, I think Finn and your dad's still here. Alright, now let's go see the presents. Hey guys, happy birthday, Ken. Happy birthday, younger me, and happy birthday, Gwen. And older Gwen. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday, Finn. So, where are the presents? Oh, Paradox is supposed to be here in, like, one second. And I'm right on time. Ah! Paradox, why are you always scaring people? Sorry. Now let's get into the presents. First, we have Finn. You got a miniature robot. Awesome! 
You got some plutonium. Great, now I can finish that science project. A giant magnifying glass. And a flashlight slash gun. Gwen! First off, you got a magical bag like Tromcasters has. Awesome! You also got a pet Gleep and a carrying bag for the Gleep. Gleeps are kitty cats. That's what we call them in the future. Aww! <laughs> and you also did get a present from Kevin, but it's in the present. Um, you mean like our time? Yes, the present. That's what I said, the present. Just wait. It's gonna be awesome. Ken, you next. You got a new hoverboard. A PS Cube. What the heck is a PS Cube? It's like a PSP, but except it's a cube. And you also got from Alan in our time. Not in our time, but when I say in our time, I mean the future of right now. You got this robotic monster head. Oh yeah, that's my favorite show. Thanks, Alan. No problem. But my uh, my favorite favorite show is Ben 10. Ben 10? Um, uh, yeah, there's a show about you in the future. Awesome! But it's a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, older Ben, you seem to have one as well. What is it? It's from Tetrax. <laughs> a new hoverboard! Gee. Thanks, Tetrax. Now I can just add it to my collection of my other hoverboards. Yay. And last but not least, you, Ben. What did I get? Um, a hoverboard. Um, a limited edition Sumo Slammer Squishy. A limited edition Sumo Slammer Sword. And a PS10. So, pretty much those are all the gifts. Not exactly. Um, okay, goodbye. What is it, Dad? You'll see. Give me your right hand. Okay. Here's my right hand. And here's mine. Wow, what's this? It's an upgrader. You'll be upgraded with some new aliens in both your Ultimatrix and your Omnitrix. Hope you guys enjoy. It's a present for me. Cool. And the process is done. You now have some new, cool, very cool aliens. Ben, I also gave you back feedback. Awesome! So now what? Do we go home now? Um... <laughs> not exactly! <gasps> Dr. Animal and your Yeti Beast. Alright, it's hero time! Psh! Articuana. Cool, I got Articuana. Load star forearms. Hey, Archiguana. Now that looks like a cool one. All right, guys, one on one. Well, actually, Mike thought two on one and one on one. You guys can get the Yeti Beast off go anime. Hey, I want to try the Lord Star. Looks like a cool alien. It is. But that voice is kind of British. Slash robot. Kind of weird. Alright, now let's just get into it. Ooh, fire. I'll cool him down. You can throw him into the pit. The pit? It's what we call our... No void. Oh, okay. Well, at least I call it that. Yes, you actually are the only one who calls it that. Whatever. That sounded painful. So, Tennyson, what shall you do? You know. When you mutated yourself, I see you put it on some armor. Not that good of an idea when I can turn into an alien who can true magnetism armored. Armor. You make no sense. 
Well, who has a bunch of soul and doesn't want to cut you in half? That's made of metal, isn't it? <laughs> Good job, fellas. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Yes, Mr. Tennyson, another good job, well done. And just for this, I, Mayor Golub, gives you another award. And at the Grammys, you shall win 24. Isn't the Grammys about music? We change it in the future. Well, that's a wrap. By the way, happy birthday. Well, now what? Uh, I sense the menace. It just ended. Maybe it was, perhaps it was Dr. Animal. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess it's time for you guys to get home. So don't forget your presents. Oh, we have them all packed up. All right. All right, bye, Karen. See you later. All right, bye, Dad. Ready? Yep. Bump. What's the... Bump. Did we? Well, I guess we didn't take that long, Ben. Yeah, guess we only took a second, he said. Thought we would have took an hour. I mean, that entire adventure was like an hour. No, it was more like a second. <laughs> Wait, what adventure? So, Gwen, you think it was Dr. Animal? Yeah, I mean, my senses went off as soon as I put him in the null void. What is it, Gwen? I don't know. I sense something. My my senses, they're back. I sense something very evil. And more powerful than ever. Yes, it has worked. So, do you desire more? Hmm. <laughs> yes, yes I do. Well, I can give you a righteous amount. If. You give me the right amount of you know what. You dare ask me for money? Uh, yes, a triple dog dare. <laughs> you learn, foolish human. What I want is what I get. <laughs> This map. Now my plans will be fulfilled. I will finally have the power I need, and I will teach Ben Tennyson a great lesson for putting me in another voice. You, you might will not be going anywhere with this map, unless you give me more money. <coughs> you foolish human will learn that whatever Victor ben, ben Victor wants, he <laughs> gets. Alright, Ben, we've been looking for this plumber's badge everywhere in Bellwood. Gwen, you know, we you're right, we have been looking everywhere. But are you sure that these things don't look for us? Sure these things don't find us first? Yes, I am sure. You sure about that? I stand corrected. Hello, children. Yes, your grandfather is here with another message for you. Yes, and I am still on the top secret message in a place I cannot tell you. Recently, I have learned that Ben Victor has escaped the Null Void. Ben Victor? That psycho? Yes, and I have seen that his powers have been growing stronger over the past few months. I asked you to find him, see what he's doing. Last place we seen he was headed was here. The coordinates have been sent to your watches and plumber badges. All right, stay safe. Goodbye. Ah, I remember this place. One, don't you? Yep. All right, here's a shocker. All right, let's go. 
Ah, so here we are in the wonderful California amusement park. Woohoo! Hey, Dad, me and Alan are gonna go check out some games. Hey, I think I'll come with you. You know what? We might as well all just go together. Right one. Ah, this game looks promising. Yeah, and so does the ticket boother. <laughs> I, I know what you mean, Dad. Yeah, I like to hit the... Swat. Hey, Gwen, what was that for? Shut up, Ben. I know what you're going to say. Sorry, but, um, this game is close. What do you mean? I mean, it's not like there's some disease or some crime scene going on. Look, it's close. Hey, we are paying customers, okay? Kevin, pay her the money. What? Fine. Yeah. Look, I swear. Hey guys, I think I'm gonna try to cool off. <laughs> Alright, Alan, you go. Everyone gets one shot. I've warned you. Come on, Ken, hit it with your best shot. Huh? Ah, oh, come on, I missed. Ben, you next. Huh? Okay, I missed. Come on, Kevin, you can do it. I missed. Huh? Ugh, I missed. Oh, alright, game over. What? Everyone gets a shot. I'll take Alan's shot for him. Please, God. Do not let this happen. Please, please. Alright, here I go. One, two. Bullseye! No! What's the big deal, lady? I mean, it's just donking in the water. You do not realize what you have done. <laughs> that was fun and refreshing. My turn next. No, no more turns at all, okay? Whatever, lady. Guys, let's go. Wait, um, hey, here's my number. You, I hate you. I'm Ben Tennyson. Whatever, lady. Oh, yes, Ben Tennyson. <laughs> Dad! <gasps> ben Victor. Oh, no one. I didn't expect this. But did you expect... Like this? Turbo? Pshaw! Pshaw! <laughs> Sucker. No, me and the little one. Make that big one. Oh, with it or. Whoa! Ah, another new one. Whoa! Psh, gotcha, Kevin. Psh, ah! Ah! Help! Help! I can't swim! I can't swim! I'm coming, Dad! Can you really? Oh, wait, yeah, I can't swim either! Now, you, you are the keeper. Tell me to the secret of the fountain of youth. Never find it, and I'll just kill you. Not on my watch, or alien mana, or whatever yes ah! you know I had enough of you I'm not leaving at least not without you ah help me guys you okay yeah we're fine good now let's go get Vic what what is it Kevin my my voice is wrong um Hey, I think it's drying off. Oh, oh boy. Why don't you guys look in the mirror? <gasps> I'm ten. Me too. I five. And I ain't you, baby. <gasps> Wait, remember when Ben Victor said, Will tell me the secrets of the fountain of youth to the lady? Yeah. The fountain of youth must be that water we dunk in, and that might must be why she didn't want us to go in because they would have turned us I believe five years younger because I'm like 11 and I five well you were 10 but you're five now and I don't know how Alan became a baby if he's like 12 you know fun fact I always thought Alan was older until like a couple of years ago well not a couple of years but we like a couple of months but anyway we gotta find a way to get back to normal I know a way, but we must go fast. 
I escaped his clutches, but he's not too far behind me. Hey, Ken and Alan, it's a good thing we got through this attack track, or else we wouldn't be driving in this, this kind of climate and kind of ge gra geographic if it wasn't for this. <laughs> I'm mad. Me not for one no driver. Kid, you can barely count to two. How are you going to be able to drive an advanced auto truck like this? Wait, don't turn it into alien alien. Way big. Oopsies. Oh no, it appears Ben Victor has drunken up half of the fountain of youth already. Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> it's hero time. Pshh. Cannonball. Pshh. Ultimate cannonball. Hey, it's no serious struggle. Ultimate matrix. <laughs> now, Ben Victor, you're in for a rolling surprise. Now, Ben Tennyson. Even I know that was cheesy. Okay, I admit it was. Track them, mini people. Okay. <laughs> There's no way to stop him. He's too powerful. He's drinking enough of the water to be more powerful than 10,000 army soldiers. Yes, it is true. Give up now. Well, we could give up, I guess. But since Alan's the little was, I guess he would be the first one to get up. Yeah, little are the dumbest, right? Yeah. Dumb me, Alan. But you, he couldn't even go supernova if he wanted to. I would go supernova. I want to. Supernova! <laughs> well, Ben Victor won't be going too far now that he was turned somehow into a statue when Alan went supernova. I am win! Good job, Alan. You did great. Well, the effect should wear off in about a day. Well, hey, I guess I can enjoy being a kid again. Yeah, kid, woo! You said it, Alan. By the way, my name is Juliana Yotomato. Um, call me sometime. Here's my number. I will. Thanks, beautiful. You may have crack and put my other body in stone, but my mouth can still move. So can my left eye, or is it my right? I'm not sure. But anyway, I have something to tell you, Tennyson. I shall be back, and you will never, never, ever expect it. You will regret it. <laughs> really, I need to work on that evil lot. To the judge. Hey, me scan you. Pssst. Scan complete. Ben Victor form. Hey, me call Cam Victor. <gasps> I got an idea. <laughs> Ken Victor is great. Ooh, me get back Ken, Mommy, and Ken Wolf. And wow, buying two. Yay. You went for no land friend. No. And you are all capable of your own uncanny abilities, but together you could bring me his head. Simulation. <laughs> down goes the oversized butt. Who's there? I'm not afraid of you. No, ah, just a. <laughs> Yeah, on. What the? Oh no. It's. it's snow outside. 
there's it's very very cold for some reason I smell the smell of roast beef it's only one thing there's a Christmas tree a giant Christmas tree which only means one thing it's Christmas yay Christmas Christmas rocks go Christmas Christmas I love Christmas yay Christmas 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 It's dumb Christmas! Oh, by the way, Mr. Ben. What do you want? Can I have your autograph? I'm gonna say this one day in one day only, kid. No! Jeez. You suck. Ben? Is. Did you just turn that kid down? Yes, I did. Everyone wants to ask for an autograph from me. But no, no one ever wants to give me anything. But, Mr. Tennyson, isn't everything, isn't Christmas about giving? Shouldn't you have gave them something? Aren't you the hero? I hate Christmas! Okay, look, I only had one Christmas special. That was when I was like 10 years old. And I didn't even want to do it. Because I had to fight crooks all day. Now, that's why I hate Christmas. CHRISTMAS! But Mr. Tennyson, isn't Christmas like a one year thing? Isn't it good to be nice? Rook? Okay, I'll give you some advice. Here on Earth, the world isn't that pretty, okay? And you should know that. We've been fighting bad guys all year. And what are you saying to me? Oh, the world. Isn't it about giving? You know what, Rook? Just go. I gotta go take a nap again. Jeez, dumb Christmas, dumb fans, dumb everything. I just want to take a nap and go to sleep. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick. Hey, can someone turn that dumb alarm off? Oh, sorry, that's just me. <coughs> ah! Oh my god, clockwork? Well, yes, it is me. You know what? Um, come to start this all over, you know, um, yeah, cause you were screaming and uh, this, this just messes everything up, you know what, no, no, I'll just tell you, you're gonna be this attack by, like, I think the dog ghost and you're gonna, like, well, learn some moral or something, I mean, you just broke my spirit when you scream. Anyway, remember, you're gonna be visited by three ghosts tonight, alright, bye. No more eggnog before bed, or frozen pizza. And smoothies. <sighs> crazy. This day is just getting crazier and crazier. Wake up! Wake up! Who's that? <coughs> Feedback? That's you? Yeah, dude, it's me. Alright, look, I'm the ghost of Christmas past, so, like, you're gonna have to come with me and. Wait, what? I'm supposed to take you to the past and teach you some morals about your past. Alright, come on. What the? What are you? Well, here you are in the past. What? Who is that? Wait, that's me. Yes, now here you can see you're rejecting some kid's autograph. Oh, it's not like it's the first time. No, I will not give you a dumb freaking autograph. Now get to your home, you ugly dinosaur-like alien thingy. <laughs> Jeez, dumb Christmas. See, you were so mean to people on Christmas that some people didn't even want to look at you anymore. I mean, they still loved you anyway. But anyway, you know, you even extra meaner to Gwen and so mean to Grandpa Max. No, that, that can't be me. Actually, it is, because I remember that, so... <laughs> You know, bro, you're sick. <laughs> what? It, it was it was just a dream. Don't feedback ghost thingy. Can't 
can't even get some rest. Well, I'm going to sleep now. Oh, hello, Ben. Ah! Rook, what are you doing in my room? Oh, I'm not Rook. I'm the ghost of Christmas present. I have come to bring you some presents. You have? No, I'm just telling you that so that you would come with me. All right. Come on, let's go. And here you are, yelling at some kid just because he wanted an autograph. You know, I really do feel pity for you. Oh my god, what are all these dumb dreams supposed to teach me? I mean, come on. Hello? Ah! Who the are you? Name's Blocks. I'm the ghost of. Let me guess, Christmas future. Yeah, well, you know, this is all supposed to teach us that you should always be nice to someone. I mean, you wanna see how your future turns out? Sure, I've already wasted half my time going through my past and the present. Why don't I just take a trip to the future? You know, you really have a smart mouth. I should... Ugh. Lucky I'm a ghost. Well, here's the future. And, uh, don't got any friends to spend it with. You've been mean to every single one of the people who you ever met. They don't even want to come around you. Even your grandfather, or his cousin, your boyfriend. Rook, no one. Gwen, Kevin, pretty soon you break your leg. Ow! And no one's there to help you to the ER, and pretty soon you just die. <laughs> Oh my god, that was scary, horrible. Well, hello, Ben again. Ah, clockwork. Let me guess. Came back to ask me something. Yes, I did. Did this teach you anything today? No, not really. 